another video of World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. Anyway, let's play. So we have a little bit of the world buff left. And we have to be very careful for once we lose it. Because we're going to be roughly, I would say, 20% weaker. Right? Maybe even more. Not exactly sure of the number, but it's roughly in that ballpark, let's be honest. Okay, seems like we're going to do a lot of quests at the bottom here. Hopefully we have the inventory space to do it. Otherwise, it's not going to be great. But it's okay. We will see what we can do. Officially, this is the highest level character right now we have on our team. In our arsenal. I think I do have a horde um, shaman that is higher level, but we're not going to play it on this uh, on this channel. I think that shaman is twenty six, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, there's a oh, there's a rare. We're standing right next to the rare. Level 20 rare. Shall we? Yeah, let's see what we get. Nothing too special, I guess. We're just way too strong, let's be honest. I'll get rid of this. I don't know, I want a skin, but also at, at the same time, I don't care too much about it, to be honest. That rare got absolutely butt spanked, dude. I, I didn't even have to use my evasion. Three intel, four stamina. I mean, it's six silver we didn't have before, so it's not that bad. We need one more pelt. Gonna keep running around until we find it. And then we can head off to the next quest. You can actually also just hand this in. There's probably the other book we have. Maybe, maybe not. What enemies is this? Rocks. Can you smell? Oh yeah, this is a pretty hard quest. I remember this. Uh, we had to we have to escort someone to like three different locations. This is a pretty long. Escort quest. Holly, is that you? I need some help chiseling this stone. Hand me my stone brush. I think I see something. Hey, you're not Holly. Don't suppose you've seen my stone brush? Never mind that now. I promised the League I'd send the mysterious fossil I found. Where did Holly go? So much work to be done. Now, where is that mysterious fossil? And, my brush? and Holly? And who are you? Is no matter so long as you're here. Now. Let me know when you're ready to start looking. So then, Holly? Oh, that's right, you are not Holly. Where's Holly? Ah, that's beside the point. 
We must find that stone brush. I mean, the mysterious fossil. We must find that fossil. The Explorers League of Darnassus will want some indication as to what I've been doing. Let me know when you are ready and we will hunt down that brush. I mean fossil. We shall find something in writing to satisfy the League. So are you ready yet? Come here, bro. Let's go. Looks like we're not going to do the escort quest. Maybe not now. It is a pretty long, tedious quest. If I... May say so myself. Okay, it seems like we're we're gonna do it right now. Dude, this inventory though. It's a bit full, man. So then, Holly? Oh, that's right, you are not Holly. Where's Holly? Ah, that's beside the point. We must find that stone brush. I mean, the mysterious fossil. We must find that fossil. The Explorers League in Darnassus will want some indication as to what I've been doing. Let me know when you are ready and we will hunt down that brush. I mean fossil. We shall find something in writing to satisfy the League. So are you ready yet? I'm gonna just open this video and see what he says. On the second monitor. Well, he doesn't say anything. He really doesn't say anything. So we're getting ammo. He's going full health the whole time, yeah? So this quest is easy for as long as we have the world buff. We have three minutes left on it. Hmm, nothing up here. Two people just reach level 60 at the same time. This is a pretty long escort quest, dude. I remember it was pretty hard, pretty long. Bro, I have three minutes left. Can you just start running? Snap. Yeah. 
Oh, okay, we got aggro of him. He almost died. Yeah, we'll buff this off, so we're gonna buff ourselves. This works. We might get spawned on top of again. Did he find it now? It doesn't look like it. He discovered a crack, is what he's saying. Failed. Yeah, this fucking quest sucks, not dick. <clears throat> if we fail it again, I'm gonna skip the quest. I feel like we need to make space for the ammo. I, I think we can get a lot of money um, through that. Also, I think if we level up once, this quest will be so much easier. Let's make space for the for the ammo. It seems like this ammo we could sell for four uh, silver, uh, four copper each. So then, Holly? Oh, that's right. You are not Holly. Where's Holly? Ah, that's beside the point. We must find that stone brush. I mean, the mysterious fossil. We must find. There's a chest. The Explorers League in Darnassus will want some indication as to what I've been doing. Let me know when you are ready, and we will hunt down that brush. I mean fossil. We shall find something in writing to satisfy the league. So are you ready yet? See what we get in the chest.
garbage. We'll increase our strength, agility, and spurt uh, with a food buff. And we're getting our repost after. This quest takes eight minutes to complete, by the way. What just happened? Why did he reset? Yeah, I don't think anyone, anyone spawned here. They spawned uh, the two deeper in. Spawn them here. I don't know why they didn't spin the big, uh, the spawn the big guy now. Kind of interesting. healthy, we should just grab this guy. I think we were just like unlucky with the respawns before.
Yeah, it's a pretty short quest, let's be honest. But we are about to level up. Repose is gonna help, I hope. I think Repose should be extremely useful to spam. Uh, this quest can be very difficult. Engage Murlocs one by one. Hopefully there's a proper video here this time. Funny how they show like They they say this quest can be like very difficult. Why can't I loot this, bro? They say that this quest can be very difficult, and then they. They show a hunter doing it. Okay, we did it. You see, they're gonna throw me with spears, bro. Level 20. I don't know why there's a video for this, like, like, what I'm doing right now is just common sense. Thank you. 
Come on, bro. Hey, repost. Got our first repost trigger. Unfortunate, but we don't need this anymore. Dude, my poor inventory. My poor inventory, dude. I guess. Oh, my quest log is full. Dude, how is this not in consideration? Kill warriors and hunters. You were running from the water. This it's not here. It's three hundred yards away. What we need to do right now. So kill warriors and hunters. Uh, move the bonfire to the center of the camp to summon. And then kill the Murloc. So I guess we gotta clear this place.
We're not even getting XP for this anymore. This is it. It's pumping us a little bit hard. Dude, I don't get this. Yeah. As much as I want to pick up the food, I'm it's just annoying, dude. It, it's just annoying to deal with. With this inventory. So what's the problem here? We might wanna like I I, I just don't think it's worth, but we need to buy big bigger bags. Or we need to like just hand in like look at all these completed quests, dude. Actually start handing in stuff, you know? That would also work. Because our inventory right now, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Quest items. Hey, that was a bag. Six slot bag, bro. What's this? I feel cheated on, dude. I think we're using that, if I'm not mistaken. Another another quest item, dude. Skip the step if. Uh, wait, wait. Let's see. Uh, skip the step if he is not there. It can take him up to twenty-five minutes to spawn. 
May the stars guide you. By what if he is? I was on my way to Maestra's post to meet Laladris Moon River, but I decided to stop here and take a short nap. Ever since I awoke from the Emerald Dream, I've been so sleepy that... Would you mind showing me the way? I understand that Maestra's post is south of here, along the road in Ashenvale. It can be dangerous, so I hope you have some friends that will join us. Lastly, I may fall asleep, so if you ever need to wake me, please use my horn. You'll find it in the chest here. I'm sorry. I'll disband. Is it Howling of the Hills? What's the square's name? Horn of Awakening. Sub to me, please. I'll give the quest to them. This quest is very difficult to solo. Like, I would be fine. So far, we're doing a pretty good job. We'll give them the quest because it can take up to 25 minutes to spawn. If it was just one guy, I'd be like, sorry, bro. But they were four people, so I feel sad for them. I'll be fine, I think. <laughs> like I said, if if shit hits the fan, I just let him die anyway. I just run away. But the guy that doesn't force us to to use it. 
It just it just says, you know, go to that location. If it's not there, just abandon the quest. So I will just act like it's not there. I know, and I do remember that escort quest is very hard. What the heck? We have five inventory spaces by clearing out our inventory. The guy should have whispered me sooner, then I wouldn't have touched the quest. We have so many hand in quests, bro. Like, I, I, I honestly don't know what to say. We can almost get a full level, by the way. A full level out of this. Um, what do we learn at 22? Detect traps. Yeah, we'll, we'll just take that. Eviscerate four. That's great. And then we have our first poison that's, that's useful. 20% chance poisoning the enemy, increasing their costing time. No, it's not even useful. We still have no useful poison. So there's deadly poison. Dude, at 26 we get a uh, cheap shot. So then we're gonna start spamming invisibility. Like every single fight, regardless if we can pickpocket or not. Because uh, a, cheap, a cheap shot opener is kind of strong. It's 60 energy, sure. Um, but it stuns for 4 seconds on the target. And you get 2 combo points. So it's pretty good. King's honor, friend. If you don't mind my saying, you seem a bit well equipped for a messenger, HM. I suppose Balfour wanted to be certain that his letter reached my hands. Let's see what he has to say. This is disturbing news. When undead or demonic forces are found, I help the Sentinels destroy them. At first, I was unaccustomed to the manners of the Night Elves, but I have grown to respect them greatly as allies. Balthul's letter is dire. This cult of the Dark Strand is a thorn in my side that must be removed. I have been dealing with some of the Dark Strand scum northeast of here at Ordal Aran. One of their number possesses a soul gem that I believe holds the secret to the cult's power. Bring it to me, and I will be able to decipher the secrets held within. There is a plant that once grew in the old ruins of Bathron's haunt to the north. The plant was called Bathron's Hair, and was known to cure ailments of the spirit. There is a sick child in the village, and I believe it is more than just a physical illness. Will you go to Bathron's haunt and search it for Bathron's hair? I may need it to properly treat the child. Bathron's haunt lies north of Maestra's post, and just south of the border to Darkshore. I think you just keep killing until you eventually get the gem. Ooh, this overtime is actually hurting. It is not tickling. These bitches hurt, dude. Had to use a potion. Yeah. 
So you can disarm. Level 21. Now what? You disarmed, buddy. I see, now you just have to dodge my attacks. Loot him for the item. We have a pretty low hit rate against them. Do we have like random crappy food? Doesn't look like it. This was probably the easier one to go for. We have so much leather, by the way. Maybe I should just do this. This will solve our inventory, I'm pretty sure. Wow, dude. Now we have seven inventory spaces available. Yeah, that was a, such a big difference. Eight. Kick to light. So we don't get anything for killing the imp. We don't get XP or anything. It's weird that the imp doesn't despawn. Yeah, this arm does pretty good damage, though. It doesn't give a combo point, but it's pretty good. Oh man. I kicked the light. a split second to summon that thing. Oh, my God. 
Kick in time. Say wrong about that. Still have a food buff. We have eight. No, we have six. Not getting our stuff. How are we not getting this item, dude? Oh, <gasps> 
ahead and kick that. free food there. Another world buff dropping. Don't we have this item yet? In all honesty, bro, like how? I find this impossible. Inventory is not even close to full, so we would have looted by now. If it was gonna drop. Dude, how is this possible?
void void walker pet. Is the void walker this strong dude that is way too strong level 18 four levels lower than us and we're taking an absolute beating from it Everyone's just summoning void. Yeah, repose is really, really good. Shadow gem? It's not what we need. We need a glowing soul gem. What? does more damage to me by beating me with the stick instead of casting. Shall we just continue on? So we're looking for stuff we can pick up again. Would like to get like a visual on it. Okay, we're clicking on bags. There's one there also. Looks like we're collecting okra. Let's get these guys to pause first. It's 
It's very hard to spot these bags, though. Four minute debuff. Seems very scarce. Found on there. Are you actually kidding me right now? Bag is not even there, it's like almost nothing is sticking out. So hard to spot these things, dude. One more time. Better be boo. Better be boo. boo. Bags is just missing. Waiting for us in the bush. It's gonna back backhand us now. Never mind. Hey, we found one there. This 
this probably will have to kill you. Thank you for the debuff. Another one. Hey, we're done. Let's get back to our tedious quest where we killed uh, 50 and still didn't get our gem. We now have no available slots. Inventory is full. Oh, there's another bag here. How dare you. But if we hand in all our quests, we're going up a full level, which is a little bit ridiculous. Sound like I hear someone casting. HP, bro. I mean, <clears throat> not even close. Let's get food buff. Nice crit you got there. <gasps> we got it. We got it. Planned bundles. Sing for me, lady. I ah, you have the hair. Now I will mix a cure for the child and pray my concoction works. And forsaken are at Bathron's haunt. Very troubling to hear, that is. 
very troubling indeed. Adventurer, I have created a cure that I believe will help the afflicted child. Take it to Astronar and give it to the child's parent, Pelturus Whitemoon. To reach Astronar, follow the road south, then east. Hmm, some dark magic enchants this soul stone. Let's see what's trapped inside, shall we? Ilkrud Magthrul. Yes, I have knowledge of him. He is a powerful orc warlock that makes his residence at the Fire Scar Shrine, a place of great evil in southwestern Ashenvale. He had been little more than an annoyance until now, and I had not dealt with him, but it seems that his time has come. Time has come. Okay, so after this we're taking 5% precision. So we'll get 5% increased hit chance with weapons. And then I assume after that we're going to take uh, damage with our offhand weapon. Five into this, most probably. And after that, I'm not too sure. Blade Flurry, 100%. Increase your skill with swords, fists, and daggers. Uh, increase the damage of your Sinister Strike and Eviscerate abilities by 2%. Where would you like to fly to? Good luck, friend. Clearly we're not flying yet, for some reason. There is evil lurking on our northwestern coast, known as the Zorum Strand. It is the resting place of the doomed city of Zorum destroyed during the sundering and submerged beneath the seas. It has been lost to the Night Elves for ages, lost and nearly forgotten. Now the Naga have returned, and for what reason we do not know, but reason matters little. We must slay these fiends and throw them back to the depths. Return to me when your mission is complete. Bro, the guy that made this guide, he's pretty funny, dude. Accept this quest, accept that quest, and this one, and that one, and this one, and then we complete them all, and we, then we just keep it in our inventory, and then we just keep accepting quests. Bro. I'll, honestly? Do you want me to just abandon, like, quests, and then all of a sudden you're like, hey, go there, do that quest, and I'm like, I don't have it anymore? But you can't have this and to say, hey, go collect, to, you know, accept 20 more quests and the new zone you just entered. Doesn't make sense, bro. You need to update, update it. Or you need to just auto accept less quests. It's up to you. you, you but this, this guide is great, but... It can definitely improve. Okay, so I'm gonna fly back now. We're gonna hand in all these quests, and then hopefully we'll have enough quest space for a while. Like, I'm guessing we won't for too long, but we'll see. So far we're at level 22 and a dream. 22 and a half actually. May Alun walk with you, adventurer. The Temple of the Moon has come to help the troubled citizens of Oberdeen. 
The bones you have are from gentle sea mammals that are known to inhabit the waters surrounding the base of Tel Drassel. They had never been known to violently beach themselves like the threshers had been known to. Why would these creatures do this, I wonder? Well, perhaps the study of their remains will bear the fruits of knowledge that we seek. Again, thank you for your aid. Please accept this honorarium from the Temple of the Moon. I have heard of the kinds of carriages found on the back of that turtle. Those, I do believe, are Naga carriages, used both in battle and in transportation of their supplies onto land. The markings on the box you found are of the Naga. Perhaps the creature you discovered was killed as it was heading further south. To Ashenvale, maybe. I will be sure to send this box to Darnassus with the rest of your discoveries. This is for you. Thank you again for your assistance. You found even more beached creatures, adventurer. Sea turtles were commonly found frolicking along the base of Nordrassel before it was destroyed. With the birth of Teldrassel, however, these creatures have been seen in ever-decreasing numbers. Some, as we have discovered, end their lives here for some unknown reason. Your aid will perhaps unlock the mystery before us. Please accept this in exchange for the remains you have provided for our study. The dimensions of the thresher you mention are mind-boggling. Even the eldest of the threshers in this region grow to only a fraction of that size. While some larger ones were known to be close to Teldrassel, their numbers have declined steadily. I cannot help but wonder if these creatures beaching themselves here are somehow related to this. While we analyze the bones you have brought us, please accept this on behalf of the Temple of the Moon. Thank you, adventurer. Well, looks like you're here to more than just inquire. The citizens will be delighted to know that tonight, they will sleep a little bit more soundly and safer. You've acted as the executioner of justice for the people of Oberdeen today, adventurer. For that, I would like to offer you this as a suitable reward for a true hero of the Oberdeen people. Thank the stars, Prospector Rem Travel is safe. That voice did. He was absent minded. I can't believe he insisted on staying there with all of those horrible creatures lurking about. So, the Prospector wants to send the mysterious fossil to the Explorers League in Darnassus? I don't feel right leaving Darkshore without him. Here, adventurer, deliver the mysterious fossil to Chief Archaeologist Grey Whisker in Darnassus. These will do nicely, adventurer. I shall set to work on the cloak immediately. Give me a few moments, then return to me. Oh, one more thing. After you've used the enchantment on the cloak, you'll be limited in your interactions with others. If you can help it, do no more than speak to others. Much more than that could dispel the illusion. The cloak is complete, adventurer. The time has come to find Volcor. I can only hope we are in time. The cloak's magic, once invoked, will not last long, perhaps five minutes. It will be up to you to know when to use it. I would suggest waiting until you find Grimclaw. If what he has told me is true, you will find his master in a cave south of here. Grimclaw will be alongside the road waiting for you. Signal to him by waving when you see him, and he'll point the way towards his master. You know the way? Okay. Now we can accept your quest, bro. Now I have five slots available. Hello, adventurer. You seem to be full of wanderlust by the looks of you. Have you been to the Stone Talon Mountains? It is a land plagued by the Venture Company and other enemies of the Night Elves. Recently, Sentinel Wolf Runner sent my friend Kayla Shadowspear there to investigate what's happening to the land. But I have yet to hear word back from her. I'm even more concerned because the Alliance sent a gnome mage along with her. A sign of trouble for sure. Would you find her and report back to me? The forest spirits tell me you are brave and willing to travel. To the south, not far from Mistral Lake. There lies a tunnel named the Talon Deep Path. Through this tunnel, you will come to an area known as Windshear Crag in the Stone Talon Mountains. Once there, journey to the southwest past Cragpool Lake and then north 
up the steep slope until you reach Stone Talon Peak. There awaits Keeper Albagorn. Heed his bidding, person. The journey will be perilous. Adventurer, a longtime friend of mine is also aiding the Sentinels here in Ashenvale, but he has yet to return. He had leads on finding an item that he thought could slow the Furbolg attacks on our people. A rod created by a now-dead evil wizard. Before he left here, he mentioned seeking out a gem for the rod. He mentioned the gem possibly being hidden at the shrine in Lake Falatham at the base of the mountain to the west. The gem was being held there before it was overrun. Find my friend, adventurer, please. Directly to the north of Astronar are the Thistlefur Furbo. My scouts report that their numbers have grown greatly over the past few months. If they grow too great, they may find the courage to attack Astronar directly. Kill as many of their kind as you can, but bring me their chieftain's skull as proof that their efforts have been stifled for now. I shall remain here in Astronar and await word from you. Elune be with you. This is from Orendil. His skill with herbs and healing is great. This cure gives me hope, when before I had little... I had hoped Orendil's cure would save Raylara, but I fear it only slowed the disease running through my child. We must find more powerful medicine. Thankfully, Orendil spoke to me of further remedies to try should his first one fail. Elune's Tear is a type of stone that rests in only one place, the Isle on Iris Lake, east of Astranar. Orendil said the stone will wash away corruption. Please, adventurer. Bring me Elune's tear, and pray it will end my child's sickness. Okay, I honestly hope we can do this. It seems like we're running a decently high level stuff here. Level 22, it's, it's actually our level, so we shouldn't be too scared. Level Chance to fall down when hit seems broken. Medium leather. Don't mind if I do. How much money do we have, dude? Five and a half gold almost. That's crazy. I think to get a mounted level 40, uh, you need about 80 gold, I think. Or 60 is one of the two. It's quite a lot, dude. Quite, quite a lot. Too much, if you ask me.
Oh, you found it. I will place the tear in a stew and pray that it will cure her. Thank you, thank you, adventurer. There you go, eat this, my daughter. Elune's tear washed clear some of my daughter's sickness. Her nightmares are lessened, and I thank the goddess for her blessing. But fever still rages within her. Orendil told me of a frosted dust found among the ruins of Stardust. Perhaps it will abate Relara's fever. Gather some of the dust, then please return to me. The ruins of Stardust lie to the south, adventurer. May Elune speed your journey. Elune can speed these nuts on her on chin. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. What do hake? What do hake? We got sprint up, baby. Let's go. Okay, this is gonna what the They will root you. Level twenty four, bro. Or level twenty two. Half HP. These guys don't hear hurt much, but I think it's the root that hurts a lot. So what we need to do is just kick the root. I think I should have pulled them. Because it's gonna roam the whole time. Could be problematic. A problematic. dude the wrong button. Yo, dude. We leveled up again. Where do we go now? Are we going there? Huh. Not what I was expecting.
at the base of the mountain, run straight north and climb the mountain. Like this. You like what you see? Well, don't mind if I do. Um... It's this, right? A little scary. But nothing we can't handle. The wolf didn't even see us, bro. We we're so faced. And then quest here. Looks like we're going to the crabs also, dude. My goodness. This is just a little ridiculous if you ask me. We're sitting on 19 quests in our bag. Most of them are still complete. Hi. And the guy is like, nah, dude, go do more quests. What are you doing? What, what what are you doing? Go do go do more stuff. Well, my inventory and my <laughs> my quest list is like, please, <laughs> hand some in, please. Yeah, hand in quest are you already? Like You crazy my brainy? Hmm. Wait. Oh, look where you go. Okay, we're fine. Don't really see a hand in there. guess we could just remove some quests. We'll see. I don't think we're going to do that. Uh, this coast isn't clear thing at all. We have a hand in quest here, but we're going to do the crabs first. All rotty then. Uh, horde bases over here. So there's going to be guards that's going to whip your ways. Uh, regarding skinning... Okay, we're done with that. 
So we should, in theory, no longer get light me uh, light uh, uh, leather. So we only have one item to craft. Grey dye. Four. Both is four. So it's a lot cheaper to craft this. I would charge you with a task, adventurer. I was on my small vessel, skimming over the submerged ruins of Zoram, when Naga attacked me, surging from the water and tearing at me with their claws. I fled, carrying what supplies I could to make this meager camp. But when I reached the shore and ran, my prized possession was lost. Please, adventurer, find the site of my ambush along the coast to the north and search for an ancient statuette. It is the reason I have braved the dangers of the Zoram Strand. I don't really want to get too close, dude. So that's the Horde base. This is where I stood so many times. Because it's where I did my GDKPs on my 12 level 25s. We did this dungeon right here. Black Fathom Deeps. I can show you a pretty cool logout skip. Yeah, repose is definitely worth taking, by the way. So I would recommend. Highly. It's decent damage. It's not great, but it's decent. It costs literally 10 energy, dude. Should we get, yeah, let's get food buff. We have 9 out of 20 already. This quest is going really fast. I thought it might be long and tedious.
Oof. The damage we do is so good. It's so good, but it's green. So it's four levels below us. Three. We're three levels below us on average. This one's four. Also, by the way, Repost has no global cooldown, so you could just uh, macro it with Sinister Strike in one line, and it would uh, it would cast Repost every time that it can. going with so face. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I see that there's these gems I need to pick up. Oh, it looks like each clam is one inventory space. So I guess this is where you could train more luck picking. Now that we'll have to kill both. Dude, that guy got smashed. Oh my goodness. Absolutely obliterated, if that's even the right word. Demolished. Destroyed. Slapped. Spanked. Fucked. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But really, though. Really, though. Eh. What do heck? found it. Thank you, adventurer. The old city of Zorum holds many secrets, and this statuette may be the key to many of them. Yes. Thank you. That's a lot of words that you have to say. You could have just said you have big pee, -pee and I would accept it even better. Accept it even more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this uh, chance to hit is god tier, in my opinion. 
now that we're playing also human uh, with increased skills with our weapons. Good best, dude. So yeah, maces. We're not using swords right now. We're using maces and daggers. You see the dagger is way lower than uh, than the mace. It's because the mace is the main hand. We swing it a lot, a lot more. Merked. Terranus's body lies broken atop the island. For some unknown reason, the Murlocs have left it alone. The deep slashes across his corpse obviously came from the weapons and claws of the Murlocs. As you rummage through Terranus's belongings, you find a journal that is still in good condition. You take the journal and leave Terranus's corpse as is. The only thing left to do is find the gem Terranus was seeking. Rayani mentioned it being in the area. Perhaps the Murlocs have it. Perhaps they do. Ungrouped. <laughs> yeah, roughly like fourth kill or something. Like rough estimate, but somewhere in the ballpark there. <laughs> Lucky indeed then. <laughs> now you have to subscribe to my channel, buddy.
All right. So we're handing in three quests here. Hopefully we don't take more quests. Hopefully we just hashtag leave. Looks like we're going here afterwards. That, dude, I would cry if I see a spider that big in, in real life. I would, I would just, I would run faster than this. I would put my sprint ability on, you know. I would, I would outpace Usain Bolt. Uh, just saying. in the Zoram Strand against the Naga are commendable. I know your feat was not easily accomplished, but the strength <laughs> and guile of the Naga is well known to the Night Elves. We know this, for we share a history with them. It is a history I care not to repeat. We are not in open war with the Horde, but our peace is fragile. We often find their agents moving against us, but they do so covertly. One such advance was revealed to us from hidden sources in Theramore, claiming that the orcs collect venom from the pride wings near Merc Fallon Lake. In the Stone Talon Mountains to the south, orc assassins then use the venom on their secret death raids against the Alliance. If this is true, then we must stop them, adventurer. We must deny them their source of venom. This is terrible, adventurer. Taronis is dead? The time for mourning will come. But for now, we must focus our efforts. I shall send some of the Sentinels to recover Taronis' body as soon as possible. You have Taronis' journal and the gem he was seeking. Do you think you're capable of completing his task? I would rest much better knowing his death was not in vain. You'll have to do the research yourself, but from what notes Taronis has made, it sounds like your next course of action is to find the other pieces of the rod Dartal created. I would start by heading to the Moonwell east of Iris Lake. When you're ready, follow the road and turn north when you reach a small sitting area on your left. A dryad there named Sheldrin is better suited to guide you. Seek her out. Keep the gem with you. Sheldrin will need it if she's to help you recreate the rod. Before you travel to the Moonwell, I have another task that will aid the people of Ashenvale, if you would like to test your skills. Along the road heading east before the Falfarin River, Fourbogs have been attacking travelers, their tortured minds feeding upon fear, and their appetites satiated by the blood of innocence. Aid the Sentinels in protecting the lands by showing those monsters the same mercy they have shown our kind. I believe their camps are south of the road. Be careful. You gathered the dust. I will create a poultice from these. It should bring down Rolara's fever. Thank you again, adventurer. Without your help, my child would surely perish. All right, then, guys. We're going to actually end this episode over here. I'm just going to fly to... Our location that we need to go, which is uh, at Arnassus. Um, and we'll start the next episode there. So I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your day supporting the channel. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new. And I'll catch you beautiful people in the very next video. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>